All right, hey, good to see everybody. Um, it's been a long time since I've posted a video, so I've been out of town. I've been up in um, Yakima, Washington, picking up the sheriff's new Carbon Cub FX3, Utah, Utah County Sheriff Search and Rescue. So during the week that I was up there, uh, Jason sent me a gift, a present, and I'm super stoked to show it to you. Uh, it's in my shop, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little look, and uh, you guys can see, I did take the cover off and peek already, so you guys will have to just bear with me on that, but I'm um, pretty stoked about this. All right, there it is. There is the box. Now, I've already taken the lid off. Pretty super stoked about this, so um, let me just show you. Here it goes. First time, you guys ready for this? Voila! <laughs> Check that out! Yeah! Awesome. So here's the crate it comes in. There is my Edge Performance 300 Ti, baby. Are you kidding me? Look at that sucker. Oh yeah, in the crate. She's all fastened down. I gotta love the way that Jason does that. Super secure, so there's no way that thing's breaking free in transit. Beautiful crate. Um, that's it. You guys are seeing it uh, minutes after I saw it. Now, I did pull a few things out, so let me show you what, what we've got in there. Kind of walk you through my shop. All right. So, first off, there's a box that's got all your, your engine sensors and everything in it. Some of the fly box hookups. Uh, for probes and so you've got all that stuff in there check it out it's all in there ready to go got a fuel pump fuel pumps all right ecu we've got some harness and some exhaust um, i think o2 probes and a few things right there there's your intercooler the new and improved edge oil pump there's the fly box right there and it comes in this kind of cool circular container with other little cool accoutrements for install. Here's the billet cap that goes on the exhaust side of the turbo. This is your downpipe for the turbo. And uh, that is what came in my box right there. So the plan for this week, that engine is going right there, baby. I've got a little bit of work to do. I'm just gonna finalize a couple things now that the engine's here, just in terms of securing, making sure I've got, got her all on and see a firewall sealed up. And then uh, I'm gonna mount that engine. I'll start with the fly box, kind of start doing, it's got a little bit of install work that's gotta go there. But I mean, you guys have seen this. I haven't posted for a long time. I've been pretty much done firewall back. I mean, I've had doors on, I've had the, um, windscreen on i've had everything on boot cal it's all been on off it's all inside the house in my in my basement protected i've actually got my 29 inch wheels all stickered up and ready to go so from here on out man there's nothing holding me back i dude i've got tail numbers on there i've got my i got my experimental on i mean i've done pretty much everything i can possibly do and there it is, right there, man, the edge. So this is a short video. I hope you guys are as pumped as I am, but uh, the game is on, baby. The game's afoot, man. Time to begin the install and get rock and rolling. I do have to tell you, I spent a week flying that new Carbon Cub FX3. Wow, wow, wow is all I can say. And we have the higher horsepower motor in it. That thing leaps off the ground. It got me so freaking stoked for this motor. I can't even imagine what this Highlander is going to do with all that power. So, hey, more to come. I'll, uh, I'll start hitting you with videos this week. Peace out.